uh, economies. And now business leaders and experts have noted that the country risks missing its 2024 growth targets due to gaps in the 4.1 trillion shilling budget for financial year 2024-2025. Now the Institute of Public Finance, IPF, a finance think tank has warned that the absence of allocation for pending bills, law development budget, mismatch uh, priorities and overlaps in government functions could deny the economy the much recovery push with billions of shillings going into waste due to leakages. Ahead of the budget submission before Parliament on June 30th, experts have said that the current discrepancies on budget allocations, low budget absorption rates, pending bills and duplication of functions are impacting efforts by the government to achieve its fiscal consolidation strategies. The practicability of the proposed growth target has been questioned. In addition, the government has been asked to make the right investments in the coming budget and prioritize four key sectors, including education, health, law, and agriculture, in order to achieve its 5.5% economic growth target for the coming financial year that starts in July. As we think about economic projection, there is, it's very important that we consider uh, fiscal consolidation not in the vulnerable sectors so that we attain economic growth. We have to ask ourselves which are questions, which are sectors that we need to cut and which one do we need uh, to propel. While releasing this year's national shadow budget, James Muraguri, Chief Executive Institute of Public Finance, said that the national government's focus of shillings 300 billion increase in ordinary revenue for the fiscal year 2023-2024 is uncertain given the uncertainty regarding the rising cost of borrowing and accumulation of debt, which continues to shrink the borrowing space. The financial think tank has also said there is a pressing need to prioritize the clearance of nearly 570 billion shillings nationally and 165 billion shillings in county pending bills. We headed media when we expected to pay the remaining 500 million uh, dollars, around 60 billion um, out of the mature link euro board. The pressure on our debt, we still mean um, a debt distressed economy and that's something that needs to be considered by parliamentary committees as we engage in the next budget. In the launch, it was revealed that the budget is highly affected by corruption because of the presence of contractor driven items on the budget that are not necessarily for service delivery for taxpayers. Acknowledging concerns raised by IPF as notable, Mary Emase, Vice Chairperson Budget Appropriations Committee and Member of Parliament Tessa South, said there is need for proper legal framework and harmonized revenue collection systems across counties. Counties requisition for money for specific expenditure items, but once they receive the money, they pay completely different expenditure items, some that may not even have been budgeted for. At the Institute of Public Finance further notes that the disparity in budget is further compounded by external risk as well as high unemployment concerns across the country. Further, despite the government's commitment to supporting SMEs, transforming the agriculture sector and resolving the funding crisis in education, the financial think tank has said that the changes in resource allocation depicted in the budget suggest otherwise. For KT News, I am Esther Diana. And now smallholder tea farmers can now get affordable inpatient and outpatient medical services across the country. Now this is after